The Caterham Road Sport Challenge at Snetterton. These cars in road going trim down to tax discs and number plates. Either 1600cc Rover K series powered like most of the cars or the older 1400cc engines. Five or six cars at the back of the grid. On pole position is Jerry Taylor from Dave Clark, but our camera is with Ross Bygrave starting eighth on the outside of row four. Down to the first corner we go, and Bygrave on the outside. Just ahead of him, number three, Alan Finn, the purple machine. They make it safely into the first corner, but there is bodywork flying rather predictably. And uh, everybody safely through, not quite, no. One of the uh, tail ending. 1600cc cars has gone over onto the dirt and back into the track being hit by somebody. The leaders now, oh and Alan Finn gets a big thump in to the S's. The leaders now at the S's and through it Alan Finn punches the starter and oh dear somebody else in trouble Chris Wood there the yellow car on top of number 22 Amos Rooney. Well, a red flag because of that uh, blocked track. Everybody ready to restart, apart from Amos Rooney, unfortunately for him, out of the race. Away they go again, riding with Jonathan Elvin. Started in 12th place on the grid. And that's a very worrying proposition. Bad enough when your car has got enclosed wheels. Very bad news indeed in the Caterhams, because the drivers drive them as though that they are closed wheel cars, when in fact, of course, they stick out at all four corners. Safely through the first two corners, Richies and Sear onto the Revit straight and riding with Austrian driver Thomas Jakovic. And he's picking up a toe now. Qualified in third place. He's going for the lead around the outside. And will he get it? No, he won't. That was David Clark, the darker car that he was chasing. Ross Bygrave looking for fifth place and seeing it slide away. I shouldn't be surprised. Yes, by him goes 77. Chris Cooper up from ninth on the grid. And that's a very good start indeed for the novice. There he is, just leading Bygrave through. And the black car of number 23, Jonathan Elvin, our other camera man, looking down the inside. Picks up the spot from 10, that's Ben Entwistle. Number 25 there, losing control, Conrad Stork, trying to go around the outside of Richard Hay. Holds on to it though as David Clark leads. Number 7, Howard Redhouse, just in second place. Thomas Jakovic, we ride with him. He's in third in his green and gold machine. Should be red and white, shouldn't it, really, for an Austrian? But he doesn't seem to mind. He's up into second place now in the number 69 machine. Jerry Taylor with the yellow car with the white wings right with them. And then fanning out around the outside, number 24, Rob Garifal. And Garifal going right down the inside in the braking area, but doesn't pick up any positions from it. Jonathan Elvin now through the S's. Loses a spot there under braking. The outside line is the quickest, but it does open you up to being passed really quite easily. Jerry Taylor still chasing. Got the toe down the straight. Can he make good use of it? Yes, he does. He's ahead into the braking area and he takes the ideal line as well into Riches. So Thomas Jakovic goes back down to third place as Jerry Taylor goes up to second. But as they go through Sia, Jakovic gets ahead. You can see them just up ahead. Now a similar battle using all the runoff zone there. But back to this battle out front. Jerry Taylor now out in the lead. David Clark in second place. The white and blue machine. Thomas Jakovic right with them. One, two and three. And they're starting to ease away from Howard Redhouse. The silver machine in fourth place. And Rob Garifal behind. But look at this side by side. Clark and Taylor. The quickest two men in qualifying, Taylor out qualified Clark. And now Clark leads, Jakovic and Taylor side by side. Taylor on the dirt, Jakovic using the track. Now Jakovic on the dirt, Taylor using the track. He shakes his head. Now I think he thought Jerry Taylor was a wee bit wild going in there. We all know what that hand signal means, doesn't it? What were you thinking of? Still concentrates, Thomas, because Jerry Taylor is ahead of you, but now he's under pressure, is Thomas Jakovic from Howard Redhouse. Redhouse in fourth in the silver machine as Taylor once more gets her two wheels on the dirt. Big oversteering slide there and Jakovic in a four-wheel drift. He was perhaps distracted by that, went in a little quick. Loses the place to Redhouse. So Jakovic down now to fourth place. Coming towards us then in a queue because they're all trying to follow the hole in the air that David Clark's machine is carving. It's Clark, Taylor's second. 
Red House is third. Jakovic is fourth. That is the lead quartet. They've broken away now from the rest of the field. And here comes our cameraman. There's Richard Hay battling for position once more. Number 21 machine with 11. Ross Beer behind him. Beer qualified 13th. Hay 14th. So they've been battling like that all the way through the race. So have these guys. Jerry Taylor, the pole man, right ahead of us. Then David Clark, the new leader, right ahead of him. Oh dear, and they're side by side. Jakovic has been hung out to dry on the inside, but he gets his nose in. Clark leads. Jakovic, Taylor, and then Red House. And for a moment, David Clark with a, a tiny breathing space because Thomas Jakovic in second place is absorbing all the aggression from Jerry Taylor. Metaphorically, if not literally, and Jakovic will hope it isn't literally as they come down to Russell. Jerry Taylor was very wild in here last time. A little bit more controlled this time, a little bit more controlled. Only two wheels on the dirt in the inside, not all four. Clark leads then from Jakovic, from Taylor, from Red House, and this is where the race is. Rob Garifal has dropped right back into the clutches of the chasing pack. He's nowhere to be seen. This time Taylor picks up second place under braking and oh dear, here they come. It's like the charge of the light brigade, three of them side by side. Rob Garifal on the inside, Ross Bygrave in the middle, the yellow car. Simon Crees, the white car, was on the outside now. He's trying to chop to the inside, but so is Bygrave, so there's no room there. Further back with Jonathan Elvin coming down in the middle of this ferocious battle. There's 21 Hay again, still battling with Ross Beer. And out front, the battle continues. Jerry Taylor back up to second place now, but David Clark is leading and starting to pull away. Oh dear, very close indeed, under braking into the S's. Very close for comfort. So our cameraman, Ross Bygrave, our other cameraman, Jonathan Elvin, both enjoying uh, tough races. And so too is Jerry Taylor. Taylor defending hard from Jakovic down the inside. And a big slide again. Jerry Taylor does have a habit of getting into that Russell bend. Very, very fast indeed and having trouble getting out. But the leader comes to the line and he's won a substantial margin in Caterham terms for David Clark to win that one from Jerry Taylor and Thomas Jakovic side by side. All but 23, Jonathan Elvin with a drag race to the line as well. Will he hold on to his position? Not quite, he doesn't think so. 12, Simon Crees looks as though he got him at the line. And he is disgusted with himself, but delighted is David Clark, probably less so, pole position man, Jerry Taylor. He takes second from Jakovic, Redhouse, Garifal and Bygrave. That's the race order. Clark, the championship leader from Taylor with 10 races to go.